this is the equation valid for any surface any closed surface this is the equation valid for non uniform electric field for uniform electric field for uniform electric field for uniform electric field the phi may be defined as that is the dot product between area vector or let us consider this is represented by s bar the dot product for uniform field the dot product between electric field intensity to the surface area vector is called mag electric flux now here in this case phi is equals to that is es cos theta this is the equation valid for uniform non uniform electric field this is the equation for uniform electric field now in this case case 1 suppose there is a surface this is a surface this is the surface right now perpendicular to the surface there is a n cap that is called what to say area vector direction now let us consider this is electric field intensity now if it is the theta therefore phi is equals to e that is s cos theta in the case two suppose there is an area this is the area this is the area right now perpendicular to the area there is a unit vector now electric field intensity is like this now what is the angle between electric field intensity to the area vector 90 degrees therefore phi is equals to e s theta theta is equals to 90 degrees therefore phi is equals to 0 now case 3 now let us consider another area this is the area right what is the area vector this is the area vector what is the electric field intensity the electric field intensity electric field intensity and area vector both are in the same direction theta is equals to 0 therefore phi that is es cos 0 therefore phi is equals to es cos 0 is equals to 1 now case 4 right now let us consider this is the area area vector is perpendicular to like this now electric field intensity is like this therefore area vector is upward and electric field intensity is a downward then theta is 180 degrees therefore phi is equals to es cos 180 degrees therefore phi is equals to cos 180 is equals to minus 1 therefore e into s now generally the flux may be defined as the dot product between electric field intensity to the area vector now let us consider an arbitrary surface on the arbitrary surface let us consider a small area ds it is a vector quantity by assigning a outward normal and there is a electric field intensity e what is the angle between them this is the theta now the flux may be defined as the dot product between electric field intensity to the area vector now what is the flux passing through the throughout area on integrating phi is equals to closed integral of e ds cos theta 
This equation is valid for non-uniform electric field. For uniform electric field, phi is equal to, the flux may be defined as, again, the electric field intensity and the area vector dot product. Therefore, A bar dot B bar is equal to AB cos theta. Therefore, ES cos theta. Now, in this case, theta is the angle between electric field intensity and area vector direction. Area vector direction, area vector direction always outward normal. Now, in this case, let us consider there is an area. Area vector direction is like this, outward normal. Suppose electric field intensity is like this. The angle between electric field intensity to the area vector, which is outward normal, that is theta. Therefore, in this case, flux is defined as E S cos theta. Now, let us consider same area whose outward normal n is n cap and electric field intensity is like this. In this case, the electric field intensity is perpendicular to the area vector. Now, what is the angle between them? 90 degrees. Therefore, cos 90 is equal to 0. What is the flux passing through that one? 0. Now, in the third case, this is the area. Right? Area vector is like this. Suppose, electric field intensity is also in the direction of area vector. Therefore, theta is equal to 0. In this case, E s cos theta, theta equals to 0. Therefore, cos 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, phi is equal to E s. Now, same area. Now, there is an area vector and electric field intensity is downward. Therefore, area vector and electric field intensity both are in opposite direction. Theta is equal to 180. Therefore, phi is equal to minus E s. Now, here in this case, right, the flux is positive. Here the flux is 0. Here the flux is positive. Here the flux is negative. Now, sometimes flux is taken as positive. Sometimes flux is taken as negative. Sometimes flux is taken as 0. What is the important? Whenever the electric field intensity is perpendicular to the area vector, the electric flux remains to be 0. Now, this is about electric flux.